Welcome aboard, it's Captain G with Axis and Allies and Zombies 1942 edition, end of round three. So starting in the Eastern Front, there were two German army groups, North and South, ready to do a pincer attack on Russia. So the Soviets launched a spoiler attack into the Ukraine creating a huge stack of zombies. Uh, the, they didn't hit any armor before they had to retreat, but the zombies that were there on the German turn destroyed some armor and forced the Germans basically to abandon the position. So there's this meat wall right here preventing the Germans from moving into this um, Caucasus factory in the southern front. So on the Soviet turn, they can move these forces up to the north to meet the German threat up there. On Germany's turn, besides moving out, they also counterattacked Kazarine Pass and pushed the American landing force on Operation Torch into the water. Uh, the Germans were followed by the British across North Africa. Very costly battle here with zombies and clearing it, but um, that was the only bit of success for the British on their turn. For the second turn in a row, strategic bombing failed. Uh, the Germans shot them down. So, so far the British have lost two bombers. That's 24 IPP in production and have only caused two IPP of damage and the Germans have yet to need that to production, so it really hasn't cost them anything. Also because of a card, they wanted to clear Southern Africa, so rather than reinforce North Africa or threaten Southern Europe, the British pulled some Far East Command troops down, but failed miserably and just made the zombie problem in Rhodesia worse. So not a good turn at all for the British. The Japanese, consolidated their hold in China, defeating the last of the nationalist Chinese, launched a ground invasion in the Far East, declaring war on the Russians. And then they've pulled their fleets together, backed off from Hawaii for fear of the five American subs, built some more destroyers, a couple more transports, so now they're poised to either threaten the north, Alaska, or come around south to Hawaii, or do something else crazy. So the Japanese are really, the world is their oyster, they can go where they want um, in the west. And then finally the US cleared out Brazil, built some more transports and landing forces so they could land a larger force here. They have to watch out for these positioned German Luftwaffe uh, in Western Europe that could strike that force, but they have a Navy Marine Corps air group on their carrier. Got to put some pressure here to relieve some of the pressure on the Soviets, and uh, the Americans have taken on the responsibility of strategic bombing. Again, the Allies have, have committed to that, they're not going to give up on that, but uh, at the same time, They've got to keep an eye on the Japanese. Because while the zombies are a fun distraction, the Japanese and the Germans could actually win the war by taking two more victory cities. So that's where we are at the end of round three. We'll keep you posted when we have some time to do the next round. This is Captain G, over and out.